Imperio Romano. Hey, don't die like you did on that bottle right there. Don't start. There we go. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> All for the gram, baby. All for the gram. Imagine if I didn't hit record. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing showed up. <laughs> All right. Time to go to work. That's what it is. Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> One day of being a YouTuber. Hey guys, one week of being a YouTuber. Yo, what's going on guys? My name's Robohoggy. This is one month of being a YouTuber. <laughs> what is going on guys? My name's Robohoggy. Welcome back to yet another video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe. Smash that like. Press <laughs> So at this point, 2020, the trend that I guess hop on is called projective Whoa. photography. And I know it's a bad trend at this point, but I never tried it myself because I never owned a projector. So I got one from my friend. So now you guys are about to witness the behind the scenes footage of my latest project. Wait, 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 hold up. Is this an anime girl? Cringe? So then we proceeded to take more and more pictures and yes, they turned out to be cool. But the problem with this type of photography is your pictures could get a bit repetitive, especially if you shoot in the same location and, you know, same model all the time. And to avoid repetitiveness, we decided to spice things. Yeah, so for us to do all of that, we needed the power because the next location that I chose was going to be outside of my house on the side. So I think I literally combined every single power cord I can find in my house just to create a big one to power the projector. It took quite some time to actually keep the things going because for some reason the technology wasn't trying to cooperate with me. We got the projector on and the power on, the one the problem was is it wasn't showing the proper image, so I think I missed the output. <laughs> Nothing showed up. <laughs> Wait, why? Wise words of Roma. What is this? So after we figured that out, then it was just regular photo shoot as it's supposed to be. So what I was trying to do, I was trying to capture projector photography with some smoke bomb. 
and we got the smoke bomb it was cool i got the slow motion the only problem was we didn't get any picture on the first try the thing is when the camera is in the low light it has a hard time focusing on the subject especially when subject is moving or you know things like smoke in the background so i didn't get any good pictures with that unfortunately but that was a lesson learned in the low light it's better to shoot with the manual focus eds what eds after fixing the mistake with manual focus all we had to do is just to try again everybody ready let's hope this one's better i slowly fade as the sky worsens my fears my doubts they're slowly creeping now and they're intensifying the first drop hits my window pane and the emotions start flooding Here are some of the results that we need uh... So that was pretty much it. Um, we done with the photo shoot, we did some pictures and now it was time to put everything back. It literally took like good like 10 minutes to put everything back because there were so many power cables taped together and it took forever to disassemble them. At the end, what I want to say overall experience about this photo shoot, I really enjoyed it. Um, even though I do a bunch of portraits, I never done quite something like this. And I do appreciate the feel of you can control the background. You can make the background anything you want and just create different feel overall with the click of a button. I think that's pretty cool and I think that's something that I definitely want to try in the future again. If you made it this far, I do appreciate it. Um, hopefully I'll see you next behind the scenes vlog or however I'm gonna call this one. And for now, ciao.